congratulations with your new underwater drone from BlueEye. In the following video, we will give you a run through of how to set up and connect to your drone. Start with uncoiling the tether. Unroll the whole tether and make sure there are no knots. Once unrolled, grab the loose end, put it in the tether bag and pull it out through the hole in the mesh pocket. Continue with packing the tether one meter at a time into the tether bag. Grab the surface unit and connect the tether connector end to it. Place the surface unit into the mesh pocket of the tether bag. The controller comes with a mobile phone holder. To place the phone holder on the iOS controller, turn the controller around and fasten the mobile holder with the screw. To attach the mobile phone holder to the Android controller, simply hook the holder on and clip it in place at the front and the back. We recommend to always charge the drone with the battery inside. Make sure that the drone is turned off while charging. Place the drone on a robust and stable surface facing right side up to remove any risk of the drone falling over. Unscrew the charging connector cap on the drone. Connect the power supply to the charger and connect it to an electrical socket. Grab the included charging cable and connect the charger to the charging port on the drone. Before you leave the drone for charging, make sure that the charger is switched to the drone symbol and that the charger shows an orange light. The light turns green when the battery is fully charged. Remember to put the charging connector cap back on after removing the charging cable. The battery can also be charged outside the drone. You'll need the battery, charger, and power supply. Start with opening the lid covering the battery tube. Use the pin spanner and unscrew the aluminum lid. Pull out the battery carefully. Connect the power supply to the charger and to an electrical socket. Open the blue lid on the charger and connect the battery directly to the back of the charger. Make sure that the charging selector switch at the bottom of the charger is set to the battery symbol. You should now see an orange light on the charger. The battery is fully charged when the charger switches to a green light. To charge the controller and surface unit, you'll need two micro USB charging cables and a USB charger. Open the blue lid on the surface unit and connect one of the micro USB charging cables. Grab the controller and connect the second micro USB charging cable at the bottom of the controller. Connect both of the USB cables to the USB charger and connect the charger to an electrical socket. The surface unit is charging when the LED lights start flowing in a sequence from left to right. The Android controller is charging when one or more of the LED lights start blinking. The LED light on the iOS controller starts blinking when it's charging. 
Which LED light starts blinking depends on how much power is left on the controller. If the LED 1 and 2 lights are stable and the rest are blinking, it indicates that the controller is 50% charged. To power on the drone, use the magnet attached to the tether bag. Put the on side against the LED light window until you hear a melody and the orange light starts blinking. The drone is fully started when the green light begins to blink. Continue by turning on the surface unit. You can check the battery status by pressing the battery symbol. Turn it on by pressing the power button. To connect the surface unit to a mobile device, go to the Wi-Fi settings on your device and find the surface unit Wi-Fi. You can find the Wi-Fi name and password on the back of the surface unit. The controller is connected to the Blue Eye app through Bluetooth. To connect the iOS controller, turn it on by pressing the power button until the LED lights start blinking. Continue with pressing the Bluetooth button until the lights start blinking at a faster rate. Go to the Bluetooth settings on your device and find the iOS controller called Speedy Gaming Controller in the list. The controller is connected when the lights stop blinking. To connect the Android controller, turn it on by pressing the A and Mode buttons together until the LED light starts blinking. The controller is now in pairing mode. Go to your mobile Bluetooth settings and find the controller PXN9613 in the Bluetooth list. The controller is connected when the LED light stops blinking. To control the drone, you'll need to download the Blue Eye app. Search for Blue Eye in either App Store or Google Play and download to your device. After launching the app, you should now see a green dot and the text connected on the screen. Now you're ready to start diving. Note that if this is the first time you're opening the app, you may be prompted by the app to update and calibrate the drone. We recommend you to do this before you start your first dive. Watch the video named Compass Calibration to learn how to calibrate the drone.